Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the sand versus eggshell bin. As you can see, we've been running these bins for a really long time. We really took our time in the beginning and I've been trying to pick it up a little bit. So I wanted to peek in today. We're gonna to start with our sand bin like we usually do and see how they're getting along. I have not fed them in a couple of weeks actually. And so I wanna see how they're doing and get them a nice big feeding today. And I have to say it's rather muddy in here. We've added a lot of extra bedding, hoping that that would help last time, but still looks like it's gonna need, need some more. But you can see we have a healthy worm population. If you can hear it kind of it doesn't really flake very well. It's definitely wet. I'm gonna have to kind of mix this newspaper kind of throughout so that since it's matted down, if I don't mix it up, it'll take forever to break down. But I'm not seeing many pests. And I'm seeing a lot of really healthy, healthy worms. So that's a definite, definite good sign. Let me zoom out here. There we go. See some remnants of some sort of skins or something in here. And I honestly don't know what they're from. But there's some springtails, things like that. Um, down here. Springtails are just little decomposers. They're not at all a problem. But our worms look really healthy. I still see a lot of babies in here. wonder if there's any cocoons. I haven't really been looking. So there's a little bit of food there left over. But I'm not immediately seeing cocoons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of mix this up really well. Top to bottom, we'll add some bedding and we will give them a nice healthy feeding today. All right, so despite how wet it is in here you'll see there's no standing liquid and that's honestly in my opinion the most important thing is to know that there's no standing liquid because that's what's going to really cause problems so i'm going to add a lot of dry stuff today so I have two of these so i'm going to put one in each of our bins here and the good thing about these like these are uh what drink holders is they're very absorbent they're thick so i think that will help i'm going to sprinkle in a whole big thing of sand today. It's our grit source. We're trying to see if calcium plays a role in reproduction for worms. I'm going to add a few oranges. I'm going to add three to each bin. And I think I'm also going to add a little bit of blended food that I have uh, left over from my um, breeding uh, bins that I had that I'm not doing right now. So I'm going to use half of that in each of these as well. And then we're going to cover it with lots of dry bedding. So this stuff has been in my fridge for quite some time and it's got a lot, a lot of mold, but it was basically primarily um, sweet potatoes that are pureed with a little bit of um, fr uh, like fruit as well in here. Um, and I'm going to add a lot of it. I'm going to show you what I have here. Got two of these, I'm gonna probably just feed half to each. But that's a lot of moisture and that's a lot of food that the worms I know will really like. Now my gloves are disgusting though. 
And I'm gonna add a handful of some dry bedding that I have here. It's just shredded uh, cardboard, newspaper, kind of a combination. And I'm kind of experimenting with this like glossy printed soda can, um, like Coke containers from like 12 packs of Coke. Uh, I don't know if that glossy print on the outside will make any difference, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna do two handfuls of this. And then I'm gonna do two handfuls of some dry peat moss, also very absorbent, trying to get this moisture back under control in here. So this is completely dry peat moss. And then I'm gonna cover, cover it a little bit with the existing castings. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more dry peat across the top. So I did two handfuls, so now we'll do maybe another three across the top here. Again, just to try to absorb the extra moisture in here. And in a few weeks, if it's still staying really wet, we can always leave the lid off for a few days to try to get this to dry out a little bit, but I'm hoping that with that um, drink holder and all that, that that should be enough, but we'll see. So that's four handfuls of the peat moss. So let's hop over to the eggshell bin. We'll get that one fed up as well, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so time to take a peek in here, the eggshell bin. And we'll just kind of get right in like we did with the other bins. And I see fruit flies in here, which have been a major problem recently for me. So I'm not really gonna worry too much about it. Covering up the food should help. But it does look like these worms have not quite made, made it through everything, which is surprising considering it's been a few weeks since I fed them. Let me adjust this camera angle a little bit. And it's the same deal, quite, quite muddy. But I almost feel like there might be more worms in here than there are the sand bin. But not immediately seeing cocoons, which doesn't really mean anything because we're seeing babies, so we know that they're reproducing. But I am interested to see if the calcium is helping them to reproduce faster. But they're like in all corners of this bin. They're really kind of all throughout. Only problem is this newspaper stuff gets really, really matted down. So do the same thing over here. I'm gonna turn this all top to bottom really get a lot of aeration all the way to the bottom. Uh, that way it can help to try to dry this out a little bit. But it might come to the point where we need to leave the lids off for a while and let these air out next week if I don't see an improvement in the moisture level. But again, there's no standing liquid. It's just that these are not really siftable castings and I do prefer my castings to be flaky and siftable and these are just not quite at that level. So I'll turn this a little bit more and then we'll get these guys fed up. Okay, so I went to use my spice grinder and it is broken. So I pulverized this as much as I could. There is some that is more finely powdered up than others, but should still serve the purpose. And going to do my three oranges in here. I'm going to do my lovely blended goop. They're going to love it, but it certainly smells disgusting, if I'm being honest with you. I'm going to do two handfuls of our dry shredded paper and cardboard. And 
then we'll do two handfuls of the dry peat moss. Just lightly cover it with some of this, these existing castings. And then I'm just gonna do the four handfuls across the top. Just added, um, you know, absorbency, all that good stuff. So I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop those comments below, like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. Hit that bell for notifications. And let me know, when do you think we should harvest this? Any final ideas for some feedings for this? We're coming down to the end. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Have a great day.